Hi, I'm Dave. These are books. Today, we're looking at a book by the Dalai Lama, the 14th Dalai Lama, and it says, the title is, How to See Yourself as You Really Are, by His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. Translated and edited by Jeffrey Hopkins, Ph.D. So I saw this book on the shelf at the Chicago Public Library. And I said, I've read books by the Dalai Lama before, and they've helped me quite a bit. I found them to be very helpful. So let's try this one. And uh, this did not disappoint. I am not going to try and summarize the whole book or anything like that in one or two sentences or bumper stickers. What I am going to do is read a couple of my favorite quotes, which I think kind of give an overview of uh, where he's coming from in this particular work. We'll start off on page 8, early, in the introduction, where the Dalai Lama is giving us his perspective. And he says, I quite agree with a Western doctor who recently told me that the people who often use the words I, my, and me, which reminds me of a George Harrison song, I, me, my, was that George Harrison? Beatles? Are at greater risk of having a heart attack. People who often use the words I, me, my, are at greater risk of having a heart attack. When... Because of self-centeredness, your view is narrow, narrowed to yourself, even a small problem will seem unbearable. Page 8. We move ahead. Um, discussing all religions of the world and various and sundry religions, the Dalai Lama says, I believe all religions have essentially the same message. Of course, there is no end of argument when religious differences arise from dogma and cultural diversity. However, it is much better to implement in daily life the goodness taught by all religions than to argue about minor differences in approach. And, continuing with that thought, um, each religion works to lessen suffering and contribute to the world. Conversion is not the point. I do not think about converting others to Buddhism or merely furthering the Buddhist cause. Instead, I try to think of how I, as a Buddhist, can contribute to the happiness of all living beings. Huh. Talking about nations and individuals within nations, on page 19, the Dalai Lama says, within each nation, the individual ought to be given the right to achieve happiness, and among nations, there must be equal concern for the welfare of even the weakest nations. Like Tibet. I am not suggesting that one system is better than another, and all should adopt it. On the contrary, a variety of political systems and ideologies is desirable, given the diverse dispositions within the human community. This variety enhances, enhances our prospects for happiness. Therefore, each national community should be free to evolve its own political and socio-economic system based on the principle of self-determination. Those, those previous uh, observations were from kind of the introduction or the very beginning of the book. Now we're shooting way ahead to almost the end of the book, on page 223, uh, the Dalai Lama quotes a Tibetan saying, It is not sufficient that the doctrine be great. The person must have a great attitude. Once again, this book is called How to See Yourself as You Really Are by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And there's a picture of him, translated and edited by Jeffrey Hopkins, Ph.D. I got this book from the Chicago 
public library. Uh, and it was on the new bookshelf. And I really enjoyed it. I think you will too. There's a lot of very um, well thought out uh, information here. Once again, I'm Dave. These are books.